First, go to Scorfolio, log in, and click New Work. Next, you're probably going to want to do some stuff here, but actually, let's not. We're just going to hit Submit. Okay, now let's set the visibility to public. Boom. You have just documented a composition on Scorfolio. I know what you're thinking though, this is not a composition. But is it? Depending on who you ask, a composition might be a specific recording, or a notated score, or a body of recordings, or a collection of ideas. All of the above, or somehow none of the above. It is for sure ontologically ambiguous. This right here is an incomplete idea, a very unoriginal idea, but it is a composition, if you say it is. Okay, but let's say you actually did notate a thing though. Go to Edit Details, then add the PDF, and maybe some metadata too because your incomplete idea is, well, less incomplete now. Ooh, wait, a crop slide button appeared? Yes, in fact, click that button. Think of this left panel as the PDF you uploaded and this right panel is the way you want the score to display when you share it. First, get rid of your title page and preliminary notes by dragging them into the Notes tab. Don't worry, they're still there, but they'll display asynchronously in a separate view. Next, select the first page of your music in the left panel. Adjust the crop box handles of the first system and hit Crop. You'll see a new slide is processing in the right hand panel. It can sometimes take that little guy a bit of time to travel to the cloud and back, but don't wait on him. Go ahead and crop your next slide in the meantime. You will not break it because these cropping events occur asynchronously. Once you're done cropping all of your systems, you can hide your uncropped pages by clicking the No Eyeball icon, or you can click Hide All Uncropped Pages if you're lazy like me. Now you can share and embed it as a score viewer. It's still pretty unoriginal. Okay, now let's say you actually convince performers to record your music and you've got this dot wave. You'd like to make a score video, but as we established, you're lazy and you don't feel like doing it. That's okay though, because you know what? You're not alone. In fact, we observed a whole bunch of composers uploading their PDF and recordings without setting the timestamps. It was so bad that we invented a whole new media type called the Asynchronous Score Video, which looks and sounds like a score video, but you'll leave the page turning to some other poor fool. Imagine though, hypothetically, that you did have the motivation to make a score video. Here's the most lazy way to do it. Click Editor. Make sure the first system in the music is selected in the right panel and click Drop Slide. Notice that the next slide will be queued up at the top of the panel. Press the spacebar to play the music. When it's time in the music to turn the page, hit the Enter key to drop that cued slide. Keep doing this until the piece is over. If you don't screw up, it'll take you as long to follow the score as it took to listen to the piece. If you do screw up, you can delete the most recent slide. You can also pause and drop slide or drag and drop it into the timeline. And you can even set the timings manually up to a tenth of a second. Once you're done, you can set the video to public or download it or create a clip excerpt and download that or delete it or whatever. Of course, a composition never feels like it's done though, but that's okay because you can replace the score if a performer informs you that you've done something dumb. You can replace the audio if a better recording comes out. You can add an external link if a worse recording comes out. Basically, you now have this abstraction of an online music composition document. The media player is whatever media you feed it, which is nice because, as we discussed, none of us agree what a music composition is.